Hey, what's up, guys? All right, so here we are. Big waste of taxpayer money. They've got a car pulled over. They got like four or five cruisers sitting here, wasting taxpayer money, doing the normal thing that these fuckers do, and that's fucking search them, search the cars. That's what they love to do. all these fuckers do man they live for this shit it's like they live to root through other people's shit It's because they got nothing else better to do, I guess, you know. I'd say, I'd say get rid of some of them. That obviously, we don't need them all. If it takes four cruisers to fucking pull over one car full of a uh, couple girls, right? Or is it a, a, a couple? Why are they even searching a people's car? It's, it's like they, they live the rifle through other people's shit, you know? Yep. Yeah. They must have the driver in the in the back. I wouldn't say another word of that fucking pig. He walked up to the guy, started opening the door, started talking to him, and when he was talk while he was talking, he just slammed the door on him. You see it? The motherfucker coming out, open the door on me again. I go, I tell him to go fuck himself. You heard him? The guy still talking when he slammed the door in his face. I tell you, man, these guys got nothing better to do than to fuck with people, man. Nothing better to do. All they do. Last spring, I had three or four from Almighty down here in the alley. They was a trip. The sergeant's the only one that got me out of it. Yeah, they, do, they don't fuck with me. They know better. You got the three roughest ones here. I ain't ever got a record for one. So I'm going to get you out wherever they got you for. But the one they got me on. So you're operating the vehicle on your property. Whoopie do. You're allowed to. If it's on your property. I'd be damned if I didn't live out on a farm um, for a couple years with my aunt growing up. We drove uh, a little pickup truck with no bed on the back of it around the, um, you know, to carry tools and shit around and lawnmowers and stuff around the um, tow shit if we needed, like tow our tractors when they broke down and shit like that. I was 12 years old driving a truck around the property, you know what I mean? And I was out there on Princeton, Sparkle Lake. Uh, now they're letting them go. Okay, well, we searched your car. Now you're free to go. We violated your rights. Oh, well, we didn't violate your rights. We just asked you to search your car, and you thought you were stupid enough to say yeah, so we did. Well, they probably had all these people in the Yeah, it's just ridiculous. It don't matter. They can't search a vehicle unless they have a reason. You know, they got to have probable, um, you know, they have reasonable suspicion. I mean, the girl obviously was driving because that's who got in the driver's seat. The guy, they probably asked the guy what his name was, and he probably had a warrant on him. And like an idiot, he told him what his name was. If you're a passenger in a car, you ain't got an ID, period. As long as you have, a, if you're in the front seat, if you have your seatbelt on, they have no, they have, they'll ask you, but you ain't got an answer, and you tell them no. But if you ain't got your seatbelt on, then they'll give you a ticket, and that's how they get around the no ID thing.
that's why if you ever have a warrant on you, which, I mean, you just said you don't have a record, but if you know anybody that does and they have a warrant on them and they're driving in the car, if they're in the front, they better have a seatbelt on. But if they're in the back seat, they absolutely do not have to ID. Absolutely under no circumstances. Look at them with their little evidence bags. They probably planted that shit. Hmm. I wouldn't put it past them. Not one bit, dude. They're shady, dirty motherfuckers, man. Especially in this town, dude. People on my YouTube channel, some of them wonder why I hate these cops so bad, dude. I hate them because they're dirty, man. I got a felony. I got a felony on my record. The only felony I've ever had, dude, from for assault to a, clock, a police officer, I've never touched a cop. Never touched a cop. Cop beat the fuck out of me and my wife. And had to justify it. And so he justified it by saying we hit him first. Like, I'm six foot four, 250 pounds, motherfucker. If I hit you, you wouldn't be standing in front of this judge right now with, with no marks on you the next morning saying, I assaulted you. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have a fucking mark. Fuck out of here, dude. I just laughed. The judge was like, is there any restitution that need to be, needs to be paid? I kind of chuckled. He goes, what are you laughing about? I was like, the restitution? I was like, for what? His knuckles getting scarred up from beating my face in? I was like, because that's the only way he got hurt. You sound like you don't do drugs. Don't <laughs> fucking dope thing. Look, sound like mother. I don't do drugs. And you hear, hiccup, hiccup. I don't do drugs. <laughs> fucking moron. Benzo diazepam. Is that what he said? Something like that. What is that? A downer? I don't think it's yeah. Uh, diazepam. That's like a Valium. Valium, exactly. And then a benzo is like a Xanax. So, mixture of them or something. We just need honesty. <laughs> but uh, do you think you're going to get honesty because you asked for it? <laughs> Fuck out of here, dude. They already took the car apart. I mean, yeah, they've already destroyed their car. Much more honesty you want. Right. Get the K9 in. I wouldn't talk. I wouldn't say a fucking word. Don't these motherfuckers know the only thing that time, only thing they, the only time a cop talks to you is when they're investigating something. That's it. It's an investigation. People need to learn to shut the fuck up. You need honesty. Well, then go to church and get it, motherfucker. That's what I tell him. One cop car in a K9 is all you need. Yeah. You don't need city time for cruisers. Yeah, it's just a waste of money, man. That's a known drug area. That's an, that's an illegal stop. If that's why you stop them, that's a fucking illegal stop. You can't stop somebody because you think that they're, they went somewhere and got drugs. Oh, known drug area. That's not an, a reason to pull someone the fuck over. That's an illegal fucking stop. And that was straight out of the, that was straight ruled on by the grand fucking jury, dude. Or the Supreme Court. Yeah, for math, he said. Wow, unreal. He's a rookie, dude. That's what it is. He's a like fucking he's rookie. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm out of here. This is it. I, I don't <laughs> think there's anything else going on. I'm pretty sure. A known drug area, huh? They still using that lame-ass excuse? I could have swore that was ruled against by the Supreme Court. A fucking known drug area. Fucking get the fuck out of here. Pretty sure the Supreme Court ruled against that.
in order for you to fucking pull someone over for that, you have to know their intentions, and you don't know their intentions. They could be lost. All right, y'all. I'm fucking out of here. I hate these fucking pigs, man. All right. I'm out, guys.